Well, just moments ago, the president responding in a tweet saying, somebody please inform Jay-Z that because of my policies, black unemployment has just been reported to be at the lowest rate ever recorded. Here to weigh in, social media stars, one of Fox and Friends' favorite guests and Trump supporters, Diamond and Silk. Welcome. Let's get right into it. What do you say to Jay-Z, who seems to think it doesn't make a difference uh, uh, that the numbers are, are for black unemployment and, and the economy are so good and helping black people? Where it do make a difference. That's and right. instead of him throwing shade... What he should have been doing is shedding light on the fact that black unemployment up under this president is extremely low. Black home ownership is high. That's and right. And see, what I don't understand about Jay-Z is that he, uh, you know, he rap. And in his rap music, he's calling women derogatory names. That's right. You know, and he's made money off of doing that. Yeah. And the mere fact that he says money doesn't mean anything. See, this is what we're talking about with these liberals mm -hmm. that try <laughs> to use their influence and their power That's to try right. to sway people. But but you want to sway people to continue to be poor That's while right. they continue to be powerful so that they so that we can be beneath them. That's but right. it's not going to work. And what's wrong with JC, he just mad because his influence did not influence people to go out and vote for crooked Hillary. That's right. That's what's wrong with him. That's right. What he needs to do is respect this office. Respect it. Respect this president because this president is truly making America great right. again. again. And somebody can also tell Jay Z to stop crying like a baby and a little trick That's because right. Trump is your president. <laughs> well, you, well said. Uh, you another part. You referred to another part of the interview that we did not play in the open. We're going to play the question about uh, black unemployment and and financial situation and get Jay Z's response. Listen. To give him a little bit of credit too, let me ask you this: um, He is somebody who's now saying, "Look, I'm growing. Uh, I'm dropping black unemployment. Uh, black people are doing well under my administration." Um, uh, do, does he have a point that maybe the Democrats yeah. have been giving us good lip service but no jobs? Maybe he's going to say terrible things but put money in our pocket. Does that make him a good leader? No, because it's not about money at the end of the day. Money is not doesn't equate to like happiness. It doesn't. It's, that's that's not missing the whole point. S yeah. Says the millionaire, right? Yeah. So what if, the, if this had happened under Barack Obama, he may have had a different answer, don't you think? Well, see, wait a minute. Jay-Z is out of touch. That's see, this right. is what happened when they get rich. They don't even know what goes on in the hood. That's right. They rap about the hood. <laughs> mm -hmm. They call everybody bees and hoes in the hood. That's but right. they don't really know what's going, going on, on in the, in the hood. hood. People are ready to start thriving again That's in this right. country. So people like uh, Jay-Z and all of these rappers, yeah. they can go somewhere and sit down. I'll That's tell right. you what, if money don't mean nothing, give your money away. Mm -hmm. Give your money away to That's the people right. that need it. Go down there on Skid Row in California and give them people all your money. That's so right. that they can have a place, and then you tell me how that's working out that's for right. you. Or do your performance for free. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond and Silk. It's, it's a really important point, though. Yeah. The disconnect between Hollywood elites and, and others mm -hmm. who have earned right. this, saying, well, money doesn't matter. Of course it matters. And that's why, that's why liberals also say that $1,000 bonus you got, that's just breadcrumbs. Oh, it's sad. Well, it's sad. Is better than nothing. That's right. They're not offering anything. <laughs> That's right. They're not offering anything. And it's time for America, especially black America. That's Look right. at these so-called influencers. Yeah. Look at them. This is who's been feeding us these narratives for years. That's and right. we stay stuck at the bottom while everybody else is at the top. Mm -hmm. Even people that cross our border illegally That's is right. at the top while we still at the bottom at the of the bottom. cold bowl, fooling with them. That's oh, right. no. Won't work this and time. And you have Nancy Pelosi going around here talking about Armageddon. When Nancy Pelosi, I'm going to get more money in my pocket. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You're right. You know, you guys are right on target. Well and I have to tell you, that's what people want, whether they're black, brown, or white. They want financial independence. That's what this economy is going to offer as an opportunity for people. Thank you. I can't wait to see you. I'm going to join you on the Chit Chat Tour. Uh, so yeah. that's going to be fun. Uh, but we got to leave it right there. Thanks for joining, joining us this morning. See you again soon.